You're watching Weekend Saturdays. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Alright. Old Mate's home theatre set up upstairs in his lounge room. Working like a dream from an audio point of view. That Onkyo home theatre amp that I bought has now become officially the best home theatre amp I have ever had. It beats Kenwood, it beats Marantz, it beats Yamaha. That's a big call out of old mate. But I have a problem with a specific video component of my home theatre system upstairs. And that's my DVR. You see, it's making some weird and wacky noises. And for this home AV video, I want to try and see what it might be. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. You are watching Weekend Saturdays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And as you can see in the background, it's home AV time. And we're talking about my LG DVR or PVR or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's what we record TV shows to if we're not going to be around to watch them or what have you. Okay, I also use its DLNA function sometimes. Now, the problem I've got is, sometimes if we leave it on, it starts making weird and wacky noises. I don't know if it's the internal hard drive or its cooling fan. Now, if it's its cooling fan, I should have a spare fan I can replace it with. All good. Okay. If it's its internal hard drive, which is a 250 gig drive, I think I'm gonna be able to replace that too, but bigger, obviously. Now remember, that's the unit that's got two hard drives in it. It's got an internal one, which is its own onboard, and then in the side of it, and I'll show you it, it's got that, what it calls an external hard drive, which is the one terabyte. So what I wanna do, I wanna get it out of the entertainment unit we'll go out to the back of the 80 series I'll grab the video camera and tripod and we'll try and see what's going on at least from a visual point of view the funny thing is it doesn't do it all the time it does it sometimes and so it's very hard to decipher what's going on with it um, and I honestly have no idea myself so and the noise isn't enough to annoy you to the point where if we want to watch TV, as in free to wear, we've got to stream it, all right, because it gets that noisy, okay? So I'll go get the DVR out of the entertainment unit. I'll grab the video camera and the tripod, head out to the back of the 80 series, and we'll try and see what's going on, at least visually, and see if anything, maybe your screws come loose and, and it's vibrating. That's a possibility. All righty, let's get into it. All right, so here it is, my LG DVR NVR media station. There's the front of it. Okay. Now, the noise that comes out of this is a grinding noise, and that's why I'm thinking either it's the fan or the internal hard drive. Now, remember, this is the same unit my mate gave me that has... You can pull the... um. The hard drive out of it okay and that's got a seagate one terabyte hard drive in it and the system calls this an external drive all right so what we want to do is pull the top off it i think i'm zoomed in aren't i oh no i am zoomed out okay hang on I'll just lift it up a bit so you can see what i'm doing The goal of this is to see whether or not it's the cooling fan making noise or the internal hard drive that's making a terrible noise. 
if it's just the cooling fan I might have one we can replace it with if it's the hard drive then I definitely have one we can replace it with and I can actually increase the size of it if I want take it up to like you know half a tera or even I may even have a one tera lying about we can use right that should lift up should have lifted up. No, I don't want the bottom coming off. I want the top coming up. Ah. So we've got actually it's a two part cover by the looks of it. Hang on a minute. Okay, we've actually got more screws to take out of this. Because it's actually got a, it's a double cover. So, we'll just get the screws out. And then it should all come apart. I've never actually pulled one of these off. So, this is all a bit of news to me. Well, someone's been into this before, because there are a couple of screws missing. Alright, now that should come up. Nope. Why are you not coming up? I have no... Oh, there we go. I see. All right. I see what has to happen here. And someone's been into this in the past. And I wonder if that might be part of the problem. So I've got the top bit up, have I? Oh, hang on. Oop. Jesus. I just broke something in there then. That a little problematic. Hopefully it's just one of the clips. Let's see what else might be stopping. Oh. oh, there's more screws in this I didn't even see. All right, now let's see if it comes up. everywhere here. Alright. That's better. This really does not want to come off. Oh. Have a look inside. Oh boy. Okay. I know it. I know what the problem is. The cooling fans had it. Um, trying to see if there's something else. I think that top screw's got to come out too. Let's see what this does now. And there it goes. Hey, finally. Like I said, I've never been into one of these. So, there's our main... Where is it? There it is. So there's our main hard drive, which is frightfully hot. <laughs> Very warm. I can't even... Yeah, that, that's very hot. That's a... Uh... Geez, that's an old hard drive from July 2009. Wow, that's old. 
Okay. I might have to get the air compressor out and blow that fan. Because I don't think I've got a small enough fan. Let's get the hard drive out of this. And I think what we're going to have to do is that hard drive is very, very, very warm. Like, ridiculously warm. Uh, so what I might do... Now I know how to pull this apart, because I've never actually pulled this apart, so I wasn't overly sure how they came apart. Alright, what the hell? Okay, get that out of there. Oh my, that is really sticky. That is really sticky. Yeah, someone has been into this. Well, maybe not. There are some screws missing, but... Geez, that drive's warm. I think it's the drive making that terrible noise. So, I think for the purposes of this, we'll get rid of this hard drive and we'll just upgrade the drive. I think that's going to be the easiest thing to do here, guys. Get it from a 250 to a 500. It's a bigger, bigger old hard drive. It's a full three and a half inch drive. It does not want to come out. <laughs> uh, there we go. Alrighty. And it does. You might not hear that, but it does make some funky sounds. So there it is. There. So what I think we'll do, having said all that is uh, I think we'll upgrade the hard drive. I'll see if we've got a one terabyte lying about. All right, found one. Straight off the meat of the bat. I know, it's a one terabyte caviar green, but I'm not phased. Be perfectly all right for this. Now, which way does it? I've completely forgotten which way this it goes that way, doesn't it? All right. So, uh, I think what we'll do, I'm trying to decide which way to screw this in because I completely forgot which way it came out. see what I'm doing can you let me just fit this hard drive in and then I'll uh, get my little air compressor out and we'll, uh, we'll blow we'll blow out the mess be a little bit of that ribbon lead My, my, my theory is that it's just it, that hard drive being that hot I reckon that might have been part of the problem but I'll show you the fan in just a moment and it's not much better alright so let's get that hard drive back in Where'd that go? Uh-oh. 
Ruth. Whoa. Okay, um, I just hit the camera, hang on. Okay, I just hit the camera with my light. I've just lost that damn screw. Oh, hell, it's fallen down in there. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. Yes, I think it's fair enough to say I am having an uncoordinated day today. I've dropped it again. <laughs> Old mate's not having a good day today, guys. I think that's uh, fairly obvious now. Alright, let's try that again. Without dropping it. Interesting to note, there's no vibration pad underneath this hard drive, which intrigues me a little bit. Okay. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, that's as far as that one goes down. Okay. I think it might be getting that time of the morning, guys, where old mate needs another cup of coffee. Okay. So, hopefully if this all goes to plan, I have one terabyte for main and one terabyte. So a total of two terabytes on this unit for video, which is really good. Alright, now, I need to find my little air compressor. A little portable one. Um, I'll bring this up and show you. Yeah, the fan doesn't look great, does it? And the same, uh, where are we? Uh, if I can show it to you, I might just zoom in. Hang on. We zoom in, and I drop it down. See, it doesn't look real good. Oop. Oh boy. I've got a funny feeling, guys. I'm going to have one of these days of nothing's going to go right for me. <laughs> okay. Um, let me go find my air compressor and I'll be back. Uh, okay. So I pulled the hard drive out again. And that was because I made a mistake. Which shouldn't actually surprise anybody, to be honest. I'll pull this sticky stuff off the tray for a moment. Now, the reason I've made a mistake, and undoubtedly most of the know-it-all experts have already typed the mistake I made, is that, uh, well, there's something I forgot to do. Remember I said I was going to hit it with the air compressor? Well, why would I put the hard drive in before I've hit it with the air compressor? Now, what I've ended up getting is just my little portable one there. And so what I will do is hit it with the air compressor very gently and uh, blow all the dust out of it. Okay, I don't know what's happened to my black gaffer that I was going to use to stick this corner down with. But with the weight that's going on top of this, which will be the Blu-ray drive, it should hold it down until I can find the tape. Or my, um, my glue. So, what we'll do now is go upstairs. Um, I'll plug this back up and uh, we'll fire it up and see if it recognizes the new one terabyte hard drive all right so 
And now what I've got to do is put all these screws back in. Where did I put that really small one? That one's the one I want, which goes in there, doesn't it? Yep, that goes in there. Now that one doesn't fit. Oh no, hang on, I've mucked those screws up. Wait a minute. This little one here, if I can get it to fit the screwdriver, goes in there. And then all these, which are basically the same screws, except for the ones that have got the actual little washers on them. There's the channel mascot meowing. Cracking the sads because I'm outside and he's not. Okay. Oh, there's another one. I forgot about that one. Ah. What? Why won't you fit in? There we go. Alright. Now, I've got to put the top on it. Oh no, someone hasn't been in it. These, these holes here aren't used. Alright. Get the top cover. And make sure I actually... <laughs> I was going to say, make sure I put it on the right way because let's face it, it really can only go one way because if you put this backwards you're not going to be able to turn the thing on from the, from the front panel. Alright, so now I've got to get that, no actually that's got to be open. Oh. You want to know something? Now it won't clip back in. <laughs> <coughs> why, what, what have I done? Oh, I've broken the clips. That's why. Alright. Hang on a minute. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, oh well. It's my own stuff, I'm not overly concerned about it, to be honest with you. As long as I get it sort of in the right spot, I'm happy. Yeah, that'll do it. It's not great, but... I'm not concerned. Well, I'm not overly concerned. Whoops! Huh. I've got screws here that I shouldn't have. Doesn't matter. No, no that's not it. That one goes up here. It's not stuck down at that corner. Honestly, I've missed a screw, but whatever. I'm going to get that to sit down further. Hang on. There we go. Ah. I forgot to put a screw into it somewhere. I'm not worried. Alright. 
so yeah, that's the clip I've broken bugger Oi, damn it. Um, all right, I'm going to have to figure out what to do there. I've actually broken it. You see how it's like that? Um, all right. Back in the ticket.